Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Spin Master Toys Pokemon Ionix Ash. You certainly can't have Pokemons without the Pokemon Trainer. There's Ash. He's nine pieces, so he's very easy to build and utilizes the same shape-shifting bricks. Not quite the same shape-shifting shape bricks. That's a tongue twister. A shape-shifting brick as some of the other Pokemons that we've been building, but still, you guys, I'll show you guys how the shape-shifter brick works, at least in the case of Ash here. Ash, as long, uh, along with the other Pokemons, all work with other leading brands of brick building sets. So if you want to use Ash with other brick building sets, you can do that. You can do that. On the back of the package, step one, take your brick in hand. Step two, unfold the brick. Step three, add your pieces together to give yourself Ash. You can also download the Pokemon TV app over at ionixbricks.com. That'd be Ionix with an X, not KS. You can also head over to www.spinmastertoys.com and check out the other pieces that they're producing. And Spot's going to take a break as we get this opened up, and we're going to build ourselves Ash. There's more handy way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Getting out Ash out of packaging, he consists of nine pieces, and to put that together, the folks over at Spin Master Toys includes an instruction guide. Really super easy to put them together. There's only a total of eight steps, but on the flip end of the instruction guide is all the other basic figures that you get from INX. So Ash, Pikachu, Fennekin, Chespin, and Froki consists of your basic set figures. And then there's also the more elaborate sets. I'll be showing those to you guys as well. So we just put this to the side. And like I said, the instructions for them are fairly easy. We're just going to move kind of everything together. Bring the camera in. There we go. You're going to take the main... There it is. It's off camera. You're going to take the main shape-shifting brick. And in this case, it's a similar brick to what we did with Fennekin. Uh, however, some arms on the side, which weren't there before, and a different bit of a different shapeshifter brick. What you're going to do is you're going to take the section where the hands are and see the ball joint? You're going to keep that section up. Then you're going to take the legs, fold them out, like so. Then you're going to take the arms, and the arms you're just going to unpeg. Unpeg, there we go. Unpeg and unpeg the shoulders to get something that looks like that. Doesn't quite look like ash yet, does it? No, then you're gonna take this section and fold it down. From there, you're pretty much just adding stuff to it. So we're gonna take his shoes, little pegs for, little pieces for his shoes, goes peg into place like that. Right there. And then we're gonna take the tops of his shoes, which is basically this plate here and that goes on top of his legs same idea take this section peg that into place and you've got ash's legs you're going to repeat the steps a little bit differently though but you're going to repeat the steps for his shoulders to give him some t-shirt sleeves peg that into place like that and then lastly take the final brick and just put it over top of his shoulders. And there you got Ash complete and fully assembled. Spa, what about his hat? Yes, his hat is missing. Thank you for pointing that out. He also does come with a hat with ears and hair. That completes the look. And you've got yourself a finished Ash. He's not as finished, I should say, on the back, but from the front, he is finished. He does have articulation, doesn't really have any in the head, however, but he does have ball joints in the shoulders, little hinges in the hands, in the arm area, and also ball joint legs. If you'd like to stand him and present him, you can also put him on his display stand, just like that. For a comparison, or just kind of show you guys where we've, what we've been doing with ourselves, we have, uh, there's Fennekin, a little bit bigger. There's Fennekin. There is Froakie. Just gonna put them all into frame here. 
we have on the other flip end of it, there is Chespin, like that. And last but certainly not least, I choose you, Pikachu. There's Pikachu. Pikachu! Yes, Pikachu. There's Pikachu right there. Uh, they are really fun sets. Very easy to build. Some of them, well, I should say most of them, had pretty much like nine pieces. I think, uh, what was it, Fennekin had six pieces because there really wasn't much to build for him. But these are ideal sets for kids to pick up and build right away. The hardest part sometimes for building sets is, uh, is just the fact that sometimes they're really overly complicated. They have hundreds and hundreds of pieces and you got to put them together and you spend all afternoon at grandma's house trying to put these things together. These, you pick them up, you can pretty much build them as soon as you come out of the store. Uh, my favorite probably from the sets are, I would say, maybe Pikachu. I've always had a soft spot for Pikachu. Let me know down below what your favorite Pokemon is. I think I've also really used to like um, like Venusaur. I really used to also like Venusaur and uh, uh, Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise. But uh, fun little figures. Certainly fun little figures. Today's collectible spot, we were looking at the trainer. We have just finished looking at the Pokemon, but today we're having a look at the trainer. Today's collectible spot, there's a box right there. We're having a look at Spin Master Toys, Pokemon Ionix Ash. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.